On today's podcast, we're talking about the role that mental grit and perseverance and learning how to handle hard and challenging things better, the role that that plays in how we lead and the cultures that we create and the best leaders and teams breathe oxygen into their mindsets that help them face challenges better. Welcome back to The Thermostat with Jason Barger. If you're currently on a commute, a walk, or just a micro break in your day, glad you're making time to step back, to think, and to reflect on the next steps on your journey. I've never been more convinced the best leaders and team cultures in the world are the ones that make time to step back, breathe in good oxygen, and calibrate their thermostat. I hope today's conversation leaves you feeling grounded and inspired. Now let's dive into today's topic to engage our minds and hearts in order to authentically lead and create compelling cultures wherever we are in the world. Hey everyone, it's Jason and welcome back to the Thermostat Podcast. I am so glad you are here wherever you are, however you're coming to the podcast today. Welcome back. Um, If you are new to this podcast, welcome. So glad you're here continues to grow and spread in exciting ways. So welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're one of the OGs that's been with us from the very beginning, welcome back. So glad this continues to contribute and add value to your life and your work. My promise to you is that this will be a place for you to step back, to think, uh, to be filled hopefully with some positive thoughts that allow yourself to calibrate your own thermostat and think about how you are showing up, how are you leading, and the culture that you're creating with the people around you. It's needed more than ever in the world today, authentic leadership, compelling cultures, and people that are uh, bringing out the best in people around them and, uh, you know, in our teams and organizations, making it a place that people want to be a part of. Doesn't mean places are perfect, but does mean that that places are committed to saying, how can we continue to care for each other and improve how we do what we do? And the performance will certainly follow. Uh, Before we get into today's episode, if you'll do me the quick favor and rate the podcast five stars, of course, uh, that would be really helpful and leave a positive review on whatever platform you're listening to. Again, I know everybody says this, but I I hate that I have to say that. But just if you would please do that, it helps um, people find this podcast and helps. That's the way the algorithms work. That's the way that it helps uh, people find this. So thanks for everybody that does that and or shares this uh, podcast with people in your network or your colleagues or team or whatever that may be. That's how this thing spreads. So thank you so much for everybody that does that. So on today's podcast, we're talking about the role that mental grit and perseverance and learning how to handle hard and challenging things better, the role that that plays in how we lead and the cultures that we create and the best leaders and teams breathe oxygen into their mindsets that help them face challenges better. But let's take a quick break. Let's pause for a second and we'll be right back. If you haven't done so already, we hope you'll visit Amazon or Amplify or JasonVBarger.com to check out Breathing Oxygen, my new book that is all about breathing good oxygen into ourselves and mindsets that fuel ourselves and the teams and the organizations around us. Positive, healthy thinking is as essential to great leadership and building a winning culture as the air we breathe. Leading yourself and a team of people has never been more complicated than it is today. As a leader, every move you make is either breathing life into your organization or slowly killing it. The atmosphere can easily turn toxic with negativity, blame, and and doubt poisoning the culture. Just like every being on the planet needs good air to breathe, every organization needs leadership that breathes life into its people to sustain the energy required to complete its mission. Breathing Oxygen focuses on six key leadership mindsets that breathe life into any team. Clarity, inclusivity, mental agility, grit, rest, and ownership. Join us, read, and share Breathing Oxygen. Available now from Amplify Books on Amazon and jasonvbarger.com. All right. The first thing I want to say just before we dive into today's topic, too, is a thank you to everyone out there. Uh, Launching anything in the world today requires courage and also a 
uh, network of people that support you and believe in you and help amplify messages. So I just want to say a sincere and thank you to everybody out there. It's been such a wonderful response with my new book, Breathing Oxygen, uh, you know, how positive leadership gives life to winning cultures. And this topic is really seeming to resonate with a lot of people, and especially in the world that we've been coming uh, out of and going through and still experiencing. So thank you so much to everybody who's been sharing it and and uh, that has been sharing messages with me about how it's resonating with them. And so, uh, again, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, you know, we've been talking about in past episodes this idea of redefining toughness, and, and we've talked about this idea of grit and resolve and taking a new step you know, the, taking a, the next step that's on our path, you know, and how that's necessary uh, to just be the leader that, that you know, we're hoping to be. And so if you didn't hear that uh, episode on redefining toughness, I invite you to go back and, and find it and listen to it because it'll really, I think, parlay well into today's conversation. Because how we see and how we think about leadership and toughness and grit and perseverance in the midst of the challenges and uncertainty we're facing impacts our actions and interactions. So I encourage you to, to go back and, and listen to that episode. Today, I want to talk about, you know, a great friend of mine, a shout out to my former uh, teammate, Chris Potts, friend of mine, uh, he sent me a, a YouTube video. I love it when people send me things that resonate with them or you know, videos uh, that it speak to them, messages that were like, this This really resonated with me and I think you'd like it and it connects to things you talk about and all that. And, and Chris sent it to me. Uh, it's Kara Lawson, who is the head women's basketball coach at Duke University. Uh, Kara was a, a great player herself, but but now is the, the head coach at, at Duke. Um, and it's a video of her addressing student-athletes and a, a, preparing them to handle hard better handle hard better i'll put the video in the show notes so that you can watch the video because i'll i'll do my best to to talk about it and give you my thoughts on it and how it connects to things that i've been talking about and also connected to this idea of redefining toughness but um but also i think going back and, and watching the video will be uh it'll be w- well worth the couple of minutes that you spend doing it but you know coach lawson shares some powerful language and a genuine message about not waiting in our lives or in our work or in this case in in you know developing your skill as a player wait not waiting for things to get easy you know and she talks about not having the mentality ment- mentality of i'll be happy when or i'll be successful when or life will be great when and she talks about life isn't about waiting for things to be easy and in fact you know i as i listen to her that that really was part of my reflection is you know if we are sitting back and just waiting for things to get easy now we go through times in our lives where maybe you have stretches where just you feel like everything's clicking and everything's in a great spot and and those at those times we need to cherish them and be grateful for them and and really recognize them but the reality is is that you know life isn't about just waiting for things to quote unquote feel easy but really is about learning to navigate our way through the challenging times and every moment that comes our way. So the things that are obstacles to us or challenges or things that are imperfect about our lives or our work or whatever it is that we're working toward, that those moments to, to learn and flex the muscles of and practice how do we get through those moments and, and, and not just to get through them, but to learn in the midst of the process of going through them. So the more we learn and practice how to approach and work through and face our fears, face our challenges, and grow through the challenges, the better we get at learning how to handle hard and challenging situations and points in life. We learn how to breathe oxygen into a mindset that allows us to have grit, perseverance, and make steps forward with progress. And so the video is great and it resonated with me for all the reasons I just described above, but some of which is is her language and and some of it is is the connection to to many of the messages that maybe you've heard me talking about uh, on this podcast or in my most recent book. But it also resonated with me because it was so similar to great conversations that I've been having in different teams and organizations and one in particular that I was having with a large group of leaders just recently uh, across an organization. 
because people like to believe that the culture of a team or an organization will just you know that that culture will just make things easier or perfect or that will we have a great culture as soon as everything's everything is easy and perfect and we don't have any problems that will be the indicator that we have a great culture and we had this really great conversation that really again there will be times when we feel like we're navigating our way through and we will have our culture will be in a really great space where our relationships and our work together and how we're showing up to accomplish our mission will just feel like we are aligned and we're in a rhythm and we're in a groove and things are going well. But that's not, that's not just the indicator that we have a great culture because it's not as simple as just a, a, a simple, straightforward equation that if we just do this – then, quote unquote, our life, our work, our relationships will get easy and everything will be perfect. The reality is that as we learn to practice and breathe oxygen into the tough, the hard, the challenges or obstacles that we are facing in our lives and our relationships and our work, the challenges don't go away. We just get better about handling them in ways that move us forward. And so the reality is in our lives and in our work, uh, they're not going to go away. And again, that doesn't mean that we won't, uh, uh, you know, we won't, things won't get, uh, we won't get better at navigating them. It's as we practice these kind of mindsets and alignment with ourselves and our teams and we breathe in these kind of mindsets, we start to learn how to quote unquote go to work, meaning facing the challenges and obstacles that we're facing in, in better ways. And so the challenges and the obstacles don't disappear, but our ability to navigate our way through them, we get better at doing it. And so life doesn't get easier. We just get better at handling it and navigating it. And we become stronger as humans, mentally stronger as leaders, and more mentally resilient as cultures and teams. And it begins with mindset. And so positive leadership, when I use that terminology, you know, again, I'll just I'll just make sure that we're talking about the same thing. Positive leadership isn't this Pollyannic, you know, uh, form of leadership where you're looking away from the challenges or you're kind of you're not willing to 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 acknowledge the challenges just to, quote unquote, stay positive. Or, we, you know, look to our teammates and just say, hey, everybody, just stay positive and let's ignore all the realities we're facing. That's really not positive leadership. Positive leadership actually is about the ability to name the challenges, the obstacles, the hard and challenging things we might be facing and look them right in the face. Be willing to, to acknowledge them and name them, whether that's in our personal lives or, again, in our work, in our relationships. Name them and then still in the midst of those obstacles, those challenges, those, those things we might be facing, still believing in a future that you can create to navigate your way forward. And so that's positive leadership, not ignoring the challenges or the obstacles or pretending they're not there, but actually naming them and still choosing to believe that you can be a part of creating a future that moves us forward and stimulates progress. That's positive leadership. So handling hard challenges better starts with a mindset and a learning that you know, that learning to practice this kind of thinking, acting, and interacting together. And so, one, we need to name the challenges. We need to get better at being able to name the challenges and obstacles we might be facing. And then, two, we gotta, we've got to be willing to get clear on your vision or as a team, our vision for how we're going to approach the, the work, how we're going to approach going to work and navigate our ways forward, even in the midst of those challenges and obstacles. Third, we've got to be willing to be vulnerable with each other and share with those on your team and identify the ways, you know, the things that maybe aren't, aren't imperfect. We can't just blindly pretend like we're okay. We've got to be willing to share what, what might be challenging and hard for us, but at the same time identifying ways that we're going to support each other and the ways we're going to move forward. And then fourth, we've got to practice breathing those kind of mindsets each day and taking a step forward. Take a breath and then take a step and stimulate the progress. That, that, 
every time we practice that kind of mindset and that, that, that that's just the way that we approach hard and challenging things is we name the challenges, we get clear on the vision for how we're going to navigate our way through it, we're willing to be vulnerable and share with each other and, 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 and support each other and reach out to each other, and then we're going to practice breathing in the mindset each day and taking a step forward. What's the next action? What's, what's the next work we need to do? Let's get to work. And let's breathe in and stimulate progress. So check out the video in the show notes, and I hope it resonates with you too. We all have the opportunity to embrace and approach our teams and cultures by off, by honoring this kind of authenticity and this kind of courage in order to share the gifts that we all have and the, the gifts that our the team members have with us. The leaders who understand this and teams and organizations that are committed to helping their people breathe better not only because it's the right thing to do, but also because it helps us navigate our way through the challenges and the obstacles we might be facing so that we can we can handle hard better. And in those moments, our performance expands. And as leaders, teams, and organizations, they realize that they, they need to continuously be in the business of clearing up the vision for the future so that it improves everyone's sight lines and helps them breathe better as they navigate their way through those challenges. Healthy cultures aren't just something that na- that comes natural. The process of how we find these kind of creative solutions, how we approach the challenges and obstacles, the mindset of that, that action that follows, that's, that's what guides our actions and interactions. So this week, I'll leave you with a few questions to ponder. To name, you know, what are the challenges and obstacles that you need to name? What are the obstacles and challenges that you might be facing right now? and to be willing to name them, and then to think about how can you support, you know, the people around you and the challenges and obstacles they might be facing, and also what is the support you might need, and are you be willing to be vulnerable and reach out and, and say, hey, I, I, I could use some support on this. This is, this is what I'm facing, and this is, this is how I'm trying to approach it. And then lastly, what practices would help you breathe differently to practice this type of courage and vulnerability and willingness to then name the challenges, name the vision for what you, you know, where you're trying to go and then how you're going to navigate your way through it. So I hope those questions uh, add value and contribute to your week. Last thing that I'll talk about today on today's podcast is just, again, many people continue to ask, how can we help with the, the continuous launch of the new book, Breathing Oxygen? Um, and, and people are still you know, sharing messages with me and saying, hey, how can I help? Uh, the c- couple of quick things is, you know, if you haven't read the book, you know, order the book and read it. You know, obviously, I, I wrote a book because I want people to be able to read it. And, and, and I hope it really resonates with you, and I hope it breathes oxygen into you personally and allows you to then breathe oxygen into the people around you. And so, you know, get the book and read it. And the second part of sh- is share it. And, and I say that if and only if it resonates with you, if it is a message that you think is, is, has redeeming value and should be shared with other people, then I invite you to share it. To, you know, and again, with the holidays coming up, maybe there's opportunity to give gifts or, or, or share it with the people in your team or your organization or your life. Um, so share it. And then lastly, this is an important thing just for the algorithms and everything, but to leave reviews. Uh, I keep being told by the publisher, Amazon reviews, Amazon reviews, or whatever platform you buy it on. But, you know, to to, to leave a, a positive five-star review and, and with your authentic words, talk about what it means to you. Those are the ways in which other people can find it. And, uh, you know, if you have other ideas, you can always email us, info at jasonvbarger.com. Or if you need bulk copies or you, you're thinking about how can I do this and get maybe get a discount on, on some bulk copies or anything like that. Or if you've got other ideas of just, hey, this I think would help the launch. We're all ears and we certainly appreciate all the support from everybody. So let's all breathe in appreciation and gratitude of all that is within our control, even in the midst of challenges and obstacles and uncertainty. And then know that we can learn to handle hard better. We can breathe in the kind of oxygen. We can calibrate our own personal thermostat so that we know this is how we approach things. Doesn't mean that life will get easy or things will go away, but we'll get better about handling the challenges that come our way. We are the thermostats and our internal temperature sets the te- sets a temperature for others externally. So I hope you'll keep tuning in. We've got other great episodes coming soon 
Remember, the best leaders, teams, and cultures on the planet stimulate progress by recalibrating their thermostat together and then continuously breathing oxygen into themselves and others along the way so that we can navigate our way through the challenges, the obstacles that we face so that we can handle hard better. Thank you for listening to today's podcast, and I hope the messages and questions stimulate positive change along your path. As always, if these messages resonate with you and add value to your life, I hope you'll help amplify them throughout the world. Please rate, comment, and share on whatever podcast or social media platform you're using, and share this podcast with the people in your life or work who should be part of these conversations. That way, this spirit does, in fact, spread. If these messages or developing leaders and culture would be helpful to you and your organization, please contact us at jasonvbarger.com, jasonvbarger.com. And remember, we are all ambassadors for the culture we want to create in our life and work. We have to own the vision we want to be a part of. The future of leadership is you, is me, is us. Be a thermostat.